In this video, I'll go over subtraction using a hundreds chart. You'll want to grab a hundreds chart to follow along and a chip or marker. Something that's clear and that you can see through is the best, but a penny or dime would do as well. If you take a look at the video description, you should see a PDF that you could print off for a hundreds chart. Subtraction, remember, is takeaway or less than. It's getting smaller. Our numbers are getting smaller. So on the hundreds chart, if we're subtracting and, and our answers are smaller than our numbers, then we're going to be moving to the left. 99 is less one, than 100. Or up. 90 is less than 100. When we move to the left, everything gets smaller by the ones place. 100, 99, 98, 1 less, 97. When we move up on the hundreds chart, we're getting smaller by tens. If I were to count backward by 10 starting at 100, I could do it along the hundreds chart. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So if I'm subtracting on the hundreds chart, I'm either moving to the left or I'm moving up. Let's try an easy one to start with. Let's try 57 take away 5. I'm going to start with the bigger number. I always like to imagine what I'm taking away. If I had 57 french fries and I ate 5 of them, how many would I have left? Well, let's start at 57. I ate 1, I ate 2, I ate 3, I ate 4, I ate 5. I have 52 french fries left. I went left because I was getting smaller. Let's try another one. I'm going to imagine that I have 21 popsicles and 6 melted. So I'm going to start at 21 and there's nowhere to go left. I don't want to go up because I don't have 10. So I have to go to the line above because 1 less than 21 is 20. 1 melted 2 melted, 3 melted, 4 melted, 5 melted, 6 melted. If I had 21 popsicles and 6 melted, I would still have 15 left. You'll notice that I'm lining up my 1's place and my 10's place when I write the answer. We call the answer in subtraction difference. Let's try another one. In this question, I don't have any ones, which means I could skip count by tens. So I could skip count 10, 20, 30. And in subtraction on the hundreds chart, we are going to go up. So I'm going to start at 95. And I am going to go 10, 20, 30. 95 take away 30 is 65. The difference is 65. Let's try one more that has a skip counting with tens. I'm going to start at 73. Oh, that's not correct. I'm going to start at 43. 
and I'm going to take away 20. That means I'm going to skip count by 10 and I'm going to go up 10, 20. 43 take away 20 is 23. Now let's put the two together. Skip counting by tens and counting back by ones. Eighty-eight take away thirty-three. I'm going to start at the eighty-eight and I'm going to count back by tens first and then count back by ones. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. 88 take away 33 equals 55. Now if you sometimes count too fast or lose track, it's always a good idea to double check, especially when you start to move both up and sideways. So I'm going to double check my answer before I write it down. I'm going to start at 88, I'm going to take away 33, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. And I got the same answer, 55. Let's try one more. This one looks like it would be quite hard to do, but we know using a hundreds chart is going to make it really easy. So I'm going to start at 79. I'm going to take away 58. So I'm going to skip count back 58. I have to go up and to the left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. I'm going to double check because these are both big numbers that I get 21 when I do it the second time. 79, take away 58. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. Got the same number both times. 79 take away 58 is 21. Now it's time for you to try one on your own. Grab your hundreds chart and a marker and see if you can solve 61 take away 29. Don't forget when you're skip counting by the tens place you need to move up. When you're skip counting back by the ones place, you need to move to the left. Good luck.